What's up, y'all? It's the Chest Neck, and uh, I'll be sending this video into uh, Agodmator's new channel. Agodmator, I think that's how you say it. Um, but yeah, you know the legend. The, he just hit a million subscribers. Uh, I want to say, personally, congrats on the pregnancy. That's awesome. He's going to be a dad soon, if y'all haven't uh, been following his Twitter. But uh, yeah, I'm the Chest Neck. I'm rated... Well, at this time, I was rated 1084. I've been having a couple bad days since then. I think I'm 1040, 1050 now. But, uh, you know, I'm not very good. I just like to play chess. It's fun. I play some ugly games. Uh, I've been playing what, what I thought was... I forgot what I even thought the opening was called. But I... Fee and Shadow or whatever, the... Uh, bishop on the g2 square i castle that's typically how my games have been going lately um i always have a problem with this pawn i never know exactly how to defend it i think instead of castling there i probably should have shot um the d3 pawn up and uh but i didn't i don't play the best moves you know that you know if, if you want this channel, that's what it is. But uh, on with the game. Show y'all what I'm made of, you know. <laughs> so I get the knight out of the way. A whole lot of moves that don't mean much. I mean, now me moving the pawn there is way worse than if I had it there at the beginning. So I think I probably need to switch the order. Uh, and this here... I think I definitely should have took that pawn, but I didn't. So now I have this really weird pawn structure. I don't know what to do. I barely know how to play. Uh, but no, I've been playing about a year, if a little over a year. Um, I'm kind of consistent, but not all the way. I, t I take some breaks sometimes on my since I started my YouTube channel. I'm, I'm a lot more consistent because I, I have some viewers that like to watch me. So I'm not sure when I moved this if I was uh, wanting him to trade. What was my idea there? Anyways, I'm pushing his bishop back. And I mean, at this point in the game... I'm feeling okay. I'm trying to get rid of this piece. That's what I was doing. I don't like how this pawn is so far close. I mean, that always gives me trouble later in the games, it seems. Now, right here in hindsight... Oh, no, that was the right move. I was thinking maybe I should have taken, or taken with the uh, C3 pawn... But then if he takes with the bishop, I'm just hanging my uh, my rook. So I think I would defend that move if I even needed to make that move. And this is already where the that pawn is getting a little annoying. And I have this crazy structure. I mean, this is just how my games go, really. I actually chose this game because, one, I didn't post it. I... I uh, I actually didn't film it when I played it. I was just playing on my phone. And at the end, there's a really cool tactic that I completely missed. I had a checkmate in two, and instead I take this terrible other route. Throwing my queen out, I think I was just trying to get him away from the knight. Trying to get the knight to move. Seems like I'm thinking too much about that knight. See, and this is the problem. I have uh, so many things attacking my queen in this position. I'm getting a little concerned because even though I feel like my position's all right, I mean, he doesn't have all that much movement. So even though I think it's all right, if I lose my queen, you know, that can turn a game around really easy. 
and uh, they just continued chasing the king or the queen. And and another thing that was giving me trouble this game, I didn't have a plan. Which if you, if you've ever watched my channel, I say that almost every game, because I'll get a little lost and then I just have no plan. Free pawn though, I like that pawn. I offered this trade here because I love to trade down. There was no, uh, there was no greater logic, really, behind this. I just thought, if I get rid of some pieces, I like I like games with uh, with less pieces. I tend to trade down a lot. Yeah, that move was weird on him. I mean, he needed to get this out the way. But uh, I'm just going to move that somewhere else. So it kind of didn't do anything in a way. Then I threatened him again. So now, now I've developed my horse quite a bit. While he uh, is just really running with his rook. Also, I'm, uh, I'm not some genius guy like Agamator if you watch his channel. I mean, it's it's so overwhelming, some of the stuff they do and like how much uh, what is it, foresight they have in the games. They'll be thinking 20 moves ahead. That's not me. I just play regular chess. I finally take that pawn in this in this position. Finally take that pawn. I was waiting all game. I'm probably thinking about doubling up, and then he moves. So, I really didn't like that castle, I remember. Just because there's, he has all of his pieces right there. My pieces really aren't doing anything, so, pretty concerned. How long was that there? Oh, I could have took that long ago. Probably what I thought during the game, too. And, uh... For those of you who don't know the channel, most of the time I record my games while I'm playing them, but uh, but sometimes I'll play a cool game on my phone, and then I just try to give a breakdown and talk over it. So this game obviously is not live. So on that one, I'm defending my knight, both knights, and also trapping his... Uh, Bishop, right? But for a while, there's, you know, not a ton happening. This is where it gets really interesting. So, I caught on here when he moved his knight to a d7. I thought that he was going to go after my queen with a d5. Or, I mean, c5. So I moved my rook here, thinking once he does this, I could just trade down. And uh, because I move first, I take his queen first. Then he takes my queen, just as planned. Then I take his, um, his rook. And here's actually also where I went wrong. So um, I I won on time right here. So it's a win, but it's it's a fake win. Let's be honest. I don't like winning on time. If I was in a tournament or something, I mean I like I like my elo going up, but uh, it never feels good to win on time. But uh, am I saying that too much? Here, what I should have done is I should have moved my knight to e7. That just changed the game because now it's not a review. But my knight to e7, he can only move his king h1, then I take his rook checkmate. So I didn't do that. And instead, 
I just took his rook with my rook. So I guess I haven't been playing enough puzzles because, I mean, it's just, I could have had checkmate in two. Now, I think I would win this game still because even after he takes my rook, I take his knight, then I'm a knight and a rook versus a knight with the same amount of pawns. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, and I'd have a bishop. So I won on time. I'm really not happy about it just because I should have won by checkmate. But this is how it, this is how it goes, you know. I lose a lot of games on my channel as well. I definitely don't win them all. I probably win 40% of them, you know, or whatever keeps my elo above a thousand, which sometimes I dip, you know. I've been growing a little bit when I started playing. I think I was around 800, but uh, my end of the year goals, I'm trying to hit 13, 1400. That by the end of 2021 20, and uh i think it's a realistic jump that i could make so if you want to continue my journey with me and just watch me play some ugly games of chess and and make fun of me in the comments then you're welcome to and thank you so much for the opportunity to share my channel and my video agamator or agamator i feel the redneck in me wants to say um Agonmator, but I know he said it was like Augmator, Augmator or something, but thank you so much, I appreciate it, congrats on a million, congrats on the baby, I couldn't be happy, I mean, you deserve it more than anybody, I don't know if you guys follow his channel, a game will happen, 10-20 minutes later, he'll have that thing analyzed, the whole, the whole game, like that, and it's every day like that, I mean, crazy work ethic, I look up to him a lot, he it actually helped get me into chess too so thanks for the opportunity and come watch my channel the chess neck